Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I saw, if I'm not mistaken, that they had actually performed this song yesterday on Mama. The trickier thing is I follow a lot of like fan account, but intellectually a lot of videos appear on my timeline. However, thankfully a lot of time what I do is I just scroll without the volume on. So that means that technically while I have seen like short snippets of the performances at Mama, I haven't heard of the song apart from like the snippets that they have given us themselves. So like from the teasers, but also that short part at the end of Bouncy, which Bouncy, I know this isn't going to be the first time you hear this, but I haven't recovered from Bouncy. And, I, and like I said, I know I'm not the first one to say this, but in all seriousness, Bouncy was kind of like a life-changing kind of comeback. And so yeah, I know that many of us, myself included, uh, aren't really over Bouncy yet. And they're coming out with this, which I don't know if this is me getting ahead of myself, but I feel like they are gonna yet again make the temperature rise. Basically, if you see me kind of like start losing it the same way I did for Bouncy, don't blame it on me. Like the way I will start behaving during this reaction is not my fault. I take no responsibility <laughs> on how I will be acting during this video. But also I feel like it's kind of fitting since this is called crazy form. This is totally me gaslighting myself into thinking that this is totally okay. I'm probably gonna be like embarrassing myself again, but at least I know that I'll have fun while embarrassing myself. Also just really quickly, I will most likely be doing like a first uh, listen on my Patreon third tier as exclusive content, so if you're interested, the link to my Patreon will be in the description box below. Anyways, I'm probably never gonna be ready for this, so might as well just go in, you know? Let's go! Crazy for meeting Pong. Let's go! Okay, you know what? I like this intro, okay? I like it. This is excretingly long to get... To get to the get plat up. de resistance. Mm -hmm. Get up. Mm -hmm. I already am. Get up. But this could potentially just make me. Go, money. Not like that. He's giving so like Making me scream inside. He can't do that, otherwise, he's gonna look like a middle finger up, right?
Yo, is this the end of an era? Stop. It is the end of an era, it's fine after all. <sighs> it's like la many layers to dissect and to just like intake. It's like I'm hot but I have shivers at the same time. But this marking the end of an era, right? If I'm not completely wrong. Like basically, if you're gonna end an era, this is how you're gonna do this. You know, the masterminds behind this have created one of the most interesting voyage journey in music through visual concepts and story. And the thing is, you can put the music videos back to back and you will see the red thread. You won't necessarily understand. <laughs> don't, don't get me wrong. <laughs> you might not understand, but you will see it. You will see the connections and everything. And right here in this music video, there are so many lemons. This is what I'm saying. Like, if you're going to mark the end of an era, this is how you do it. You know, like, this is just like, like a masterclass. And so when I say there's like layers on layers on layers of lore, it's crazy how deep those layers go. The thing is, on just like a first watch like this, you can already pick up on a lot of them, but if you really start like digging, you know, taking the music video apart and everything, you will get to see more and more and more of the storyline, of the elements, the, the, those messages and everything. I freaking love this. Also, again, like, well, like I said, you can basically put the music videos back to back and you will see a story. Here, the fact that Bouncy ended on this tune and we start this music video with this tune connecting both is genius i love it Get oh up. My God. i swear Get up. this in a cough in a concert I, I can't sorry what does 9024 mean if anyone can just enlighten me on what 9024 mean that would be great i swear I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure i've said this before but they should do like breakdowns like you know sit them down sit the producer team down and with the lyricist and everything and just ask them like what do you mean i would say generally i'm not into people who are like cocky or arrogant but when the person who happens to be kind of like cocky and arrogant can back it up and is mingi i shall let it pass like there's a difference between like being arrogant and stating facts. This is also a reference to a movie. Dude, I feel like the more they evolve in this industry, the finer their execution is, becomes, if that makes sense, like visually speaking, in music videos and everything. I don't know, the setting of this reminds me a lot of those second World War movie where, you know, there's like a... Is it like an American spy or something? And instead of this, he does this. Or something like this, right? The setting reminds me of this. See? Yeah. Sorry, is Mingi Tongo's bodyguard? Oh, I swear, he's giving queens like this, like Freddie Mercury. Or oh, kind of prince as well. Maybe it's a corset, whatever. He looks regal. They are. <laughs> I swear. Like, they are referencing their past concepts, choreographies, and just like, also outfit-wise and everything. Arriba? So like, up? We're going up, right? Yeah. This is me repeating myself, I apologize, but really, if you're gonna try to mark the end of an era, this is the best way to do it. This is how you pay homage to yourself, in a sense, as well. Kind of like looking back on your whole journey to then celebrate where you are at now. This is how you do it. Tom. What is this? Who let this happen? Sometimes I feel like for my own sanity and for my own sake, I need them to like slow down a bit. Imagine being so unbothered, you can just like hip thrust on top of a car. That's the level of unbothered I would like to be. They know. Okay, tell me, this was purposefully calculated to send a message. Sen wore this before and he made the peace sign. However, because he it was like black on black or something, it looked like he was holding the middle figure up. Would it be too far-fetched to believe that they did that on purpose here as well? I don't think so. I think this was done on purpose. I love this. This! Just me 
me. What the fuck? <laughs> wearing the outfits from different era once you start digging like it's endless layers on layers this is oh my god you are There's like this sensation of pride that just blooms inside of me because I'm like, look how much they've done. And also it's not only just me recognizing how far they've come, it's also them acknowledging it. Give credit where credit is due, but also them taking that credit. You know, they deserve to acknowledge how far they've come. They deserve to acknowledge and, and be proud of how much they've accomplished, you know? I don't know, it's kind of like them being proud of their own accomplishment and also like finishing this era right is being multiplied by mine and so it creates this like boom of of just like wow dude the symbolisms and everything look at this this is this is why I said they raised the temperature, but this I'm still like shivering, you know, like this is still giving me chills. I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna be hard for me to remain like unbiased, but if I try to remain objective, yeah, it's pretty easy to say I love it. I don't think I love it as much as Bouncy, but this one, because I associate all of the emotions that I just talked about, I feel like this one is more impactful in the completion of everything, if you want. Like, even though I think Bouncy might be a little bit more like addicting, well, you know, personal preferences, but yeah, I still love this so much because of how feral it goes almost. This right here has an unchained value to it. They are so unbo unburdened and they are so, well, they say it themselves, you know, we are going up. This is what I'm talking about, the unchained feeling of them just going feral, just celebrating their win. They deserve it. They deserve it. I feel like almost at this point, proud isn't is almost like an understatement. Like this kind of like was a, a volcano that erupted, you know, especially at the end. Yeah, that felt like this, this release. Well, I'm gonna go and uh, check the rest of the album over on my Patreon. If you'd like to join me there, i see you there. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.